Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to another UXW Bill video. I got no other comment. We didn't learn our lesson the first time. So what we have here is an Alice Chalmers, I believe this is an 8040, that is also in need of some attention with regard to its air conditioning system. Told this hasn't run since 2022. This is a newer tractor than the 7020 we did previously. And they've certainly changed some things, like the location of the filter dryer here. I think someone has converted the system on this tractor to use a newer compressor because we have this wiring here that's not in use near this pressure switch. The condenser is much the same, but a little larger. And I do not believe for a moment that this represents the original compressor. I believe that this is an updated version, especially as this is marked for 134A, which would not have been the thing that was in use when this tractor was new. I'm thinking, what, early 80s? But we have, we have what's supposedly a new engine here in the tractor. Seemingly just has 200 hours worth of operation on it. And you've got to see this cab to believe it. <laughs> it's considerably updated. Definitely has a nicer fit and finish. Got a nicer radio too. AM, FM, digital tuning. Looks like there's a clock in it and a cassette player too. Auto reverse cassette player, although I have my doubts that it works. <laughs> but we might be in for a surprise. You can't see it because my father's sitting on it right now, but we have only the best I know this is a 1980s tractor, but that seat cover looks straight out of the 1970s. It's got plaid all over it. The Hardee's are, depending upon where you are, Carl's Jr. bag is obviously optional, but yeah, check out that seat. This system is actually under slight positive right, pressure. I'll just get... Um, Get an air, condition, air conditioning system testing device out here. So we may not have as much work to do on this one, but I know we do have one thing already that needs attention, and that's this straighter valve right here. Listen very carefully. Oh. This is definitely leaking. Now you have to be very careful doing this because your skin is porous. And you can pump yourself up with an unwanted fluid or gas very quickly. If I put my thumb there for a few moments, I can feel the pressure building. And when I let off, well, I didn't hear anything. We'll try it again. But we've definitely got a leaking Schrader core. And I think somebody has tried to address this in every way except the correct one. Because we have some kind of a gasket around there that's... Definitely baked. Yeah, this this has not been done at all properly to my way of thinking. But at least the old air conditioning system is still intact. I really hate when people do that. I guess we'll just take that off there. I really hate when an air conditioning system on any kind of a vehicle fails. And you know, instead of just leaving it for the next guy, even if they weren't fiddling around with the engine or anything along those lines. No, they got to helpfully, completely tweak the system, completely wreck it, remove it, partially wreck it, make it that much more complicated to restore it to working order. But stay tuned because there will be a video about this air conditioning system coming back to life in the future. We'll have to see what's involved in that. I just want to show you that seat in all of its glorious glory once again. <laughs> yes, glorious glory. Anyway, that's all. If there are any of you out there in the viewing audience who happen to be familiar with the air conditioning systems on these tractors, I'd certainly love to hear from you. And for everyone else, I am always interested in hearing your constructive commentary. And remember, do not over-service the element.